everyone! Welcome to Appalachia, a region that's both enchanting and complex. Lately, there's been a buzz about Appalachia's revival, but the reality is multifaceted. Yes, there are parts experiencing a renaissance. Charming towns like Asheville and Roanoke are pulling in folks with their artsy vibes and affordable lifestyle. Yet lurking behind this picturesque facade are profound challenges. Substance abuse, limited healthcare access, and the decline of industries like coal mining cast a long shadow. The difficult terrain poses infrastructural hurdles, while poverty still persists in various corners. However, the resilient spirit, rooted in pride for heritage, remains the bedrock of these communities. The story of Appalachia is one of contrasting narratives, opportunity brushing shoulders with adversity, and a journey forward woven with uncertainty, resilience, and a profound connection to the stunning natural landscapes and tight-knit communities. This ain't your grandpappy's Appalachia, folks. Yeah, they still strum banjos, but guess what? They've got modern comforts aplenty, indoor plumbing, Wi-Fi faster than a NASCAR race, and housing that's more McMansion than Log Cabin, all for a steal. But let me drop some truth bombs about what it's really like living the Appalachian life. Let's talk stereotypes. These folks? They'll welcome you with open arms, offering up biscuits and gravy faster than you can say howdy. The small town charm here? It's like being part of an extended family. Just don't go making any marriage plans with your cousin. While coal mining's seen its ups and downs, the art of moonshining? It's back with a bang! Crafted small batch moonshine that'll send your boots flying, and craft IPAs that'll make you feel like a bona fide genius. So while the moonshine biz is booming in many parts of Appalachia, providing jobs and fueling tourism, some communities continue to struggle. Places like Owsley Count, Kentucky still need opportunities and investment to turn the tide. Owsley County has a poverty rate of 41.5%, significantly higher than today's national average of 11.6%. The median household income in Owsley County is $27,365, well below today's national median household income of $67,521. All right, let's lay down the cards, folks. Owsley County's poverty story ain't no picnic. First off, the coal industry. Used to be a bigwig around here, strutting its stuff and providing jobs like it was handing out candy. But lately, it's taken a nosedive like a plane in a tailspin. Job losses left and right, and economic hardships knocking on doors. And let's not even start on the educational rodeo. Owsley County's got lower education levels than your average Joe's dream. You see that diploma? It's your golden ticket to those fat paychecks. But when it's harder to come by than a unicorn in the wild, well, you get the picture. And don't even get me started on the healthcare maze. Being a rural county, Owsley's got a ticket to the struggle bus when it comes to healthcare. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Limited access means folks have a harder time getting the care they need. Combine that with the other jigsaw puzzle pieces of problems, and you've got yourself a perfect storm brewing up a poverty tornado. Rural Mingo County, West Virginia. Woo! Buckle up, folks, cause this roller coaster ride ain't for the faint of heart. We're talking high poverty rates soaring at 38.2%. That's nearly double the national average. And when the median household income slumps down to $30,811, which is way below the national median household income, you know there's trouble in paradise. Now listen up. Rural Mingo County's had its share of woes, just like its cousin Owsley County. Coal used to be the golden ticket here, but now? It's like trying to revive a wilted flower. The coal industry's decline has smacked this county like a freight train. Then there's the geographic isolation, making it about as appealing to businesses as a Monday morning. Tough to attract them, even tougher to keep them. Next stop, healthcare. Open the gates to affordable healthcare. It's not rocket science. Keeping folks healthy keeps them out of the poverty pit. Education's the golden ticket. Start them young, pave the way for bright futures with stellar education from cradle to college. That way, those kids can dream big and land those juicy paychecks someday. McDowell County, West Virginia. All right, buckle up folks, cause we're diving into the heart of the Appalachian struggle. West Virginia's got a few rough patches and McDowell County is right in the thick of it. Picture this. Poverty rates peaking at 37.9% and a median household income of $32,271. Yep, 
That's the kind of stark reality these folks face. But wait, there's more. Joining the Poverty Party are some other towns taking their toll in West Virginia. We've got Williamson in Mingo County, Northfork and Gary in McDowell County, all singing the same blues. It's like they've been dealt a tough hand in life and they're trying to make do with what little they've got. These towns are wrestling with economic downturns, struggling industries and limited opportunities. It's like playing a game of Monopoly with barely any property to buy. The coal industry's downturn hit them hard, leaving communities grasping for economic straws. But hey, let's not wallow in despair. There's hope in the horizon. These places are tough as nails. Investments in education, healthcare, and job diversification can be the golden ticket to turn this ship around. Give them the tools to thrive and watch them paint a brighter future. It's time for these places to rise like a phoenix from the economic ashes. Claiborne County, Tennessee. Hold on to your hats, folks. We're taking a trip down to Tennessee, where Claiborne County is carrying the weight of a 36.6% poverty rate and a median household income of $31,997. That's like squeezing a whole lot of struggle into one place. But guess what? Claiborne County isn't alone in this hardship parade. Tagging along are some other towns in Tennessee, like Dresden in Weekly County, Aaron in Houston County, and Parsons in Decatur County. It's like these places are trying to outdo each other in the poverty Olympics. Just like a country song sad verse, economic challenges are strumming their way through these towns. It's as if they're playing a game of catch up with prosperity. Industries might be taking a snooze, opportunities seem to be catching a fast train out of town, and the economic pie. Well, it's been cut into some pretty thin slices. Hey, big city dreams meet small town struggles in Elmira, Kemung County, New York. We're talking a 27.0% poverty rate and a median household income of $35,169. That's like a tale of two cities, isn't it? But hold on to your Empire State hats, because Elmira isn't the only town in New York facing these uphill battles. Just across the state, you've got towns like Jamestown in Chautauqua County, Ogdensburg in St. Lawrence County, and Watertown in Jefferson County, all singing the same financial blues. It's like a band of towns with the same old sad song on repeat. Now let's peek behind the scenes. Economic opportunities might be playing hide and seek here. Jobs might be as rare as a New York blizzard in July and the economic pie. Well, let's just say it's been sliced pretty thin. Are people moving to Appalachia? Now you might be wondering, are folks flocking to Appalachia like it's the last slice of grandma's apple pie? Well, truth be told, it's a bit of a mixed bag. See, some areas are pulling in newcomers faster than you can say, biscuits and gravy. We're talking about places like Asheville, North Carolina, and Roanoke, Virginia, where the low cost of living and the charm of the mountains are like a siren call to remote workers and nature lovers. But hold your horses, other parts are still waiting for the moving trucks. Appalachia's reputation has had a facelift, attracting some while others remain on the fence. So are people moving here? Sure, but at their own pace, honey. What are the biggest issues in Appalachia? Let's break down the biggest issues in Appalachia. Picture this. Substance abuse, education gaps, and limited healthcare access. It's like navigating a tricky forest trail where each challenge is a new twist in the path. And then there's the heavyweight, the environment. Industries that once thrived here have left their mark, coal being the heavyweight champ. Those scars are deep, affecting both the land and the people. But wait, there's more. The opioid crisis. It's been hitting harder than a kick from a mountain mule. Yet even with these challenges, Appalachia isn't waving the white flag. It's more like tying up those bootstraps and getting ready to conquer the hill. Where do most people live in Appalachian? Now let's pinpoint where all these mountain folk call home, shall we? Most of the Appalachian kin reside in small towns and tucked away hollers. But hold your horses, cause this ain't no city slicker paradise. The terrain plays hard to get, making infrastructure like roads and stuff a tad trickier to build. So don't go expecting high rises and big city vibes. Nope, this is where folks value elbow room and scenery over a Starbucks on every corner. The Appalachians? They're where you trade skyscrapers for mountains and find the real gem of community spirit. Despite these challenges, Appalachia is a beautiful region with a rich culture and history. 
Many people who live in Appalachia are proud of their heritage and are working to improve their communities. If you are considering moving to Appalachia, it is important to do your research and understand the challenges that you may face. So saddle up and head to the wild, wonderful Appalachia. But before you go, smash that subscribe button, holler at me in the comments, and watch out for the attack roosters. They're feistier than a bobcat on moonshine.